here we travel to Austria. Maria Teresa was born in Vienna on May 13, 1717. As a child, she was quiet and reserved. She enjoyed activities like singing and archery. Since a young age, she didn't want to marry anybody but Francis Stephen of Lorraine. Her father, Charles VI, didn't approve of this, but she was stubborn and married Francis Stephen on January 12, 1736. He wasn't very faithful though, like many kings of his time, who constantly played a game of musical beds. Later, her dad died in 1740, marking the end of his reign and the beginning of her reign as Queen of Austria. But he left Austria crippled. Maria Theresa was now the first woman ruler in the Habsburg dynasty as the pragmatic sanction stated that a female could success her father if no male child was born. People viewed Maria as weak being female. In addition, they opposed to the pragmatic sanction, which led to the Austrian War of Succession. She lost many lands. But then Frederick the Great offered to help her in return for Silesia. She refused to give it up, but Frederick the Great raided it and took it anyways. She also fought another war with her rival Frederick the Great called the Bavarian War of Succession. At home, Maria had a life with her kids. She wrote to them whenever she could. As a queen, she made many changes in the government. She is well known for improving education, improving the government, and abolishing judicial torture. Maria Theresa's life came to a drastic change when her husband died in 1765. She only wore black and constantly mourned for him. She followed in his footsteps and caught a major cold that caused her to die in 1780. She was so generous that in her will she donated money to the poor. Today she is buried in the imperial crypt of Vienna. She will always be remembered as a noble and generous queen. Rest in peace. We go hide away in daylight. We go undercover, wait out the sun. Got a secret side in plain sight. Where the streets are empty.